All right, we're back for the next video with the Lexus. Today, I'm swapping the four inch ADKs out with some five inch ADKs because that is seized and I was all the way at the top adjustment. And the four inches, I mean, it sat on the ground. This is my frame after a week of driving on it. I'll do a flash click. Um, this is what the frame's looking like. Yeah, it's rusty, it's stainless welded, um, onto mild. I'm gonna be doing it again soon. Obviously you can see that whole section is already ground down. It's like the weld is already cracked. Um, up here hasn't hit a whole lot as much. But uh, yeah, so I was able to just drop the top hat or the coil over from the, from the top down and we get the spring in from this side and the other side and I am gonna raise it like a half inch cause I wanna drive it to Grand Rapids this weekend. Um, and if I have time, I need to put the solid mount into the rear because right now I only have just the rubber top hats in and those are soft. Guys, I'm going to see how long it takes me in one consistent video to swap out a four inch spring for a five inch spring. Starting now, let's go. Time's a ticking. Time's a ticking. Time's right. a ticking. Right side. All right. Let's go. No, it wouldn't matter. <laughs> bigger spring so do it like maybe a half inch quarter inch yeah that's it yeah, that's fine um i do want to tie my my brake line so add one minute but hey keep it consistent let's keep this going i'm surprised i haven't any ruined this brake line yet but i didn't do that the last time obviously i didn't cut that um No, I'm not the idiot that just zips his wheels on. What time do you think you're at right now? Oh, uh, I bet I'm at like two minutes. Three oh. minutes. Wow. Where am I? Two minutes. <laughs> it's not bad. Okay, once I get two in, then I can kind of... I mean, I would say that's pretty good right there. That is pretty good. Pretty good. Probably could have had the actual coil over out and in in like five minutes, but you know, I don't got time for that. No, nah. we're doing speed rounds out here. Speed rounds, let's go. On the dot. Let's go. Three minutes. New new uh, spring spring transfer world record. Yes, sir. God damn. All right, that's sick. What are your spring specs, dude? What are your spring specs? Those are four inch eighty ks. Now I have five inch eighty ks. So it might be softer, I guess. <laughs> no, I was got. I don't know. Okay, so I got those springs done. That little three minute thing to do that. Just kind of testing myself. It would have been a lot quicker. It would have been a lot quicker if I uh, had my brake line, zip ties ready, and didn't put the wheel on top of the jack. Probably would have saved me like probably a minute. But um, yeah, so next up, I'm gonna pull the car out of the garage. Then I'm gonna attempt to align the front end because right now it's way off. All right, so Meow. the car pulled out. Toe plates are on, and since the frame is too low, 
I can't use them how I would like. So what I do is I line up this little corner at the one, and I have it raised up because I'm driving to Grand Rapids, which is an hour away on Saturday with it. So I gotta get that at the one, depending on the angle. Actually, I kind of like that angle right at the one there. And then right here, same thing. Get it at the one. That looks the same. You might not see that video, but my angle. And over here, looking over it, about 85 and a quarter. About 84 and 7 eighths. So with 85 and a quarter up front and 84 and 7 eighths in the back, that means it's towed out a little bit in the front. So I'm gonna try to figure out which wheel to me looks the most towed out. Adjust that and then try to get even. If the numbers are even, the alignment's straight, but it could be turned one way, which can cause the car to crab walk. It's pretty common in lifted trucks and cambered cars because it's hard to align all four wheels unless you're on a rack. And with this kind of car, I can't necessarily get it onto a rack. So I'm kind of looking at that, that looks like it's towed out for sure. This one right here looks pretty straight, kind of looks towed out too. This one looks more towed out, but I'm gonna take it closer. All right, after aligning it once and realizing the wheel was turned the whole time, uh, I redid it and now it's looking pretty straight. And look at this cat that I have no idea is whose it is. Just chilling. But uh, yeah, so this looks straight. That wheel in the back's a lot wider. It's an inch wider and has more of a track width. Um, I think I'm definitely off one way, but I've been doing this for 45 minutes. It's like nine o'clock and it's okay. Um, I don't really mind wasting through tires. It's not a big deal to me. Some people, they uh, go through one set of tires and, and give up a camber, but I understand the, the risk. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to call that good. I'm going to torque the wheels on, get the bumper on and, uh, Maybe take it for a drive around the block once these guys are done getting a windshield tinted. All right, sick. well, Connor got his blue tint. Thanks to Jack. Thanks to you all, Jackie boy. Uh, Lexus is aligned. Yeah, I'm definitely Only thing about it is uh, it's aligned one way, so I'm gonna drive it today, figure out which way the wheel turns when I drive it, and then just counter it on both sides. That's the one problem with aligning a cambered car with without doing all four is you get that crab walk. So what I'm gonna do is just drive it, figure out which way the wheel turns while it goes straight, and then pull in the driveway with the wheel turn, see what looks worse, and then put it back straight and uh, fix it. But so tomorrow, next video will be the second part of aligning. But uh, thanks for watching guys. I'm gonna take a quick drive. Uh, I'm not gonna be scraping as much, but uh, I'm gonna take a quick drive and you guys uh, see you next video. Thanks for watching, peace out. Peace out and keep moving forward. TJ Hunt.